London is a very big city. Every year, a lot of people vanish and are never heard of again. That's none of my business, because I am a doctor. My name is John Watson. But one case did concern me, because it was a wealthy patient of mine who disappeared, without a trace. The whole thing began one evening when a mysterious lady appeared at the house of Neville Sinclair. But, madam, I cannot interrupt Mr. St. Clair at dinner unless I know your name. Your name but a friend, a very old friend, wishes to speak to him urgently. I thought I told you never to come to my house. But Rosetta has sent for you. Rosetta. Tell him it's impossible for me to come now. I've done enough already. Besides, I've got guests. How can I possibly leave now? I was told to bring you. You know the consequences if you don't obey Rosetta's orders. Oh, I say, old chap. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. That's quite all right, Dr. Watson. Wait for me in your carriage. I must make my excuses to my guests. I shall be waiting. Holmes, you can see from what I've told you how desperately I need your help. It is now three days since my husband disappeared, and I'm beside myself with worry. And you have no knowledge of this strange woman who visited your husband? No, Mr. Holmes. Oh, well, I saw her for a moment when I barged into the study. She was tall and very beautiful, but uh, not out of the top drawer, you know. It is not my wish to probe into your private affairs or other intimate matters between you and your husband, but unless you are prepared to be perfectly frank on such matters, I can be of no help to you. Holmes, it's not what you imply. Your husband and I are devoted to each other. He wouldn't have an affair with another woman. I did not say that, madam. But Holmes, what else could you have meant? Mrs. Sinclair, is it not true that your husband has forbidden you to visit him at his office? Is it not true that you know nothing of his business associates, his occupation, or how he spends his time each day in the city? Yes. Yes, Mr. Holmes. I was ashamed to tell you. It's a matter of simple deduction, madam. Surely any woman whose husband has disappeared would go at once to his office and speak to his business associates in an endeavor to learn of his whereabouts. Since you have no such knowledge, it is obvious that you do not know where your husband's office is, nor do you know who his associates are. The only explanation is that your husband not only has failed to tell you of his affairs, but has moreover forbidden you to learn of them. Why? I don't know. Mr. Holmes, I did go to his office. You did? And yet you concede that my deduction was correct? This is not reasonable, madam. Today I went to the office address, and I found there's no such place. Possibly you went there at the wrong time. However, I feel that if we go there at once, we may find an answer to the mystery of the office that exists that is not there. Watson, wait for me. If I'm not back in ten minutes, come to my help. Right ho. And be careful. friend of mine, Mr. Sinclair, Mr. Neville Sinclair. Never heard of him. Or his letters. Look, mister, we don't ask questions here. It ain't helping.
Where are we? Redmead Lane by the river. Watson, put Mrs. Sinclair in the cab and tell the cabbie to wait. Heavens, Holmes, it's an opium den. If your nose had been as sensitive as your eyes.